Okay, got another got another video I'm gonna do here on the Edison Ambrola 30, model 30. Um, this particular one, um, America, we're strong for you. Uh, I've had a little bit of a hard time figuring out how to address this particular cylinder, um, and I think mainly it's it's uh, because of some of the current events we see today is why I've kind of had a hard time with. How to go how to approach this particular cylinder but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it I have don't have a problem with the cylinder I think it's great don't don't misunderstand me it's a wonderful wonderful cylinder that speaks to the time and it speaks to the uh, our, our young our young people who went and fought World War one and uh, how our trust was put in them to to do the right thing, stand up for their country, and uh, help defend others that were under attack at the time, and you know to join the war. And uh, let's face it, then as in now, our fighting forces are the pride of America. Uh, they, when they're deployed, they uh, they represent our country. And uh, I think maybe that's why. This particular one kind of hit me hard as a veteran that I, I look around and see kids today, many, not all, um, a lot of younger kids today screaming about uh, our Constitution being an outdated, irrelevant, antiquated document and that it should be removed. I hear things like that and it does give me pause to uh, question the future of this country uh, because sooner or later like it or not, all of us will be gone and the younger generation will be the ones who move this country forward or back. And uh, I think songs like this need to be heard uh, because of the rev ones. And um, I'm a little concerned from what I see from some people out there and I certainly hope that they are the minority. Um, this song sings true to uh, the faith that this country has in their youth. And I hope that uh, moving forward, we don't question that, at least not as much as I am right now. So enjoy this song. I know I did. It's a wonderful song.
So if, if you're able to make out the words to that song, um, it's a wonderful song. There's no doubt about it. The faith that they're singing about in young America uh, is pretty motivating. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess what the difficulty I have with this particular song is not the song itself, I think. It's more of the times we're in, like I said earlier. And, uh, and when we see so much of our youth more concerned with... Uh, themselves and entitlements and and what what can you do for me and the first thing I think of is you know that famous line from John F. Kennedy you know and I, and I think that people need to understand that the, the, a lot of the younger generation that their whole focus is me 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 and video game this video game that and my worlds around a computer I don't think many of them realize that without some level of sacrifice and dedication to this country uh, you won't have that computer, you won't have that video game, and you won't have your entitlement programs. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot different. And sadly, they're not looking around. They're not seeing the big picture of what's around the rest of this world to fully appreciate what prior generations have given us, entrusted to us to take care of, as you can hear on that, and uh, how it's our responsibility to uh, secure this and take care of this great gift we've been given. And that gift being freedom and the United States of America. Um, you can't play that down enough, the level of importance. And some of what I see today is concerning. I'm sure there was some concern back then too. It just seems like right now, maybe it's because I'm living it, that uh, I'm extra concerned about it. And I do hope that somehow or another there's a shift somehow to get uh, young America to wake up and smell the coffee. This uh, freedom is not free. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've got more coming. Thank you and God bless America.